Delphoris is an action platformer that features an awesome metal-infused soundtrack, eye-popping, amazing pixel art, and intense action which is quite the challenge. Playing as Therion, you return to your home world of the forest to seek vengeance on your father, but have to fight through swarms of enemies, from soldiers, members of the hive, and most impressively, gigantic enemy bosses. This is a fairly linear game since you proceed from one action sequence to the next with quite the impressive variety in level design, biomes and the colours used. From the mechanical ruins of a spaceship graveyard to the verdant green hues of an overrun forest to lakes of yellow lava or acid and even the sickly purple background of the hive. Therion has a couple of tools at his disposal, mainly a pistol which has infinite ammo, a melee weapon, a heavy weapon and an energy shield, and after the introductory few minutes, the main progression in the game is the unlocking of new items to fit into these slots. Critical to all of this is the blue energy meter in the top left. This meter is shared between your shields and your heavy weapon, so it provides an interesting balancing challenge on whether you play defensively and turtle up or to go all out aggression to blast your enemies to bits. The shield has a parry system of sorts since if you activate it just before being hit by an enemy projectile, you will capture it and can fire it back. The weapons all feel super punchy with things like a heavy machine gun, a shotgun, rocket launcher, essentially a flamethrower, a laser cannon and more, so all very metal and in line with the theme. I love the rocket launcher myself since it just feels awesome. You can regain energy by killing enemies with your melee weapon, so this plays into the flow of combat since it often involves shooting things with your pistol, putting up a shield to block attacks, blasting more enemies with your heavy weapon, and then running up to the next one and eviscerating it with your sword. The other ingenious risk reward system is that of the green resurrection idols. These tokens are most commonly used to activate checkpoints, but the more of them you hold onto, the greater your maximum health and energy, as indicated by the counter in the top right. This limit does gradually increase as you defeat bosses and progress through the story, but this system means that more conservative players who use every checkpoint would end up weaker in the long run. Additionally, your weapons can be upgraded by using a currency known as blood metal, which are found in random skull piles in the world, increasing their damage, range, number of projectiles and so on. In a particularly interesting twist, at the end of each main area, you do get the opportunity to exchange your resurrection idols for blood metal as well, which adds yet another layer to the system. As a result, while well, everything screams heavy metal and the action feels really good, there's a more deliberate pacing to the action and you can't really go all out and feel as invincible as you want to. Don't get me wrong, turning enemies into jibs is as fun as it has always been and the feedback from the weapons is excellent, but the character is quite squishy in some cases and with the resurrection idol system, you do often have to replay parts of a level if you die in stupid ways. There are a couple of instant death laser traps and acid pools here and there, which adds to the frustration, but in terms of platforming controls and accuracy, no complaints here. As such, 
Valfaris is an all-action, all-the-time action platformer with an impressive look having you slaughtering hordes of enemies at the drop of a dime. No doubt, another standout example of high-bit pixel art in games with a well-executed and fantastic theme. For more of the best indie games, do check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.